Hi folks, Scott here, Telecom Guide 10, also known as KC3 QVI on Amateur Radio. The scope of this video is going to be how to configure a code plug for a Motorola uh, P25 compatible digital radio, such as an XTS 2500 or an XTS 5000 for some examples, um, using Motorola CPS and how to get them online to be able to use digital talk groups with your Pi Star. Um, if you haven't set up your Pi Star yet, or if you need help with registering for a DMR ID or any of those things, those are uh, please be aware that those are outside the scope of this video. I'm only going to be covering the Motorola CPS portion, which I find that most people find the most difficult. I spent a couple hours um, this week uh, figuring out, and I've got it working perfectly. So I definitely want to share that knowledge. I noticed I searched for a couple hours. I could not find any video on YouTube that covers this. So I figured, you know, if you're going to come to the world with the problem, may as well provide a solution. So this video is, is my idea, my way of providing that solution. So um, uh, this video is also assuming that you already have the Motorola CPS, the programming cable, the compatible Windows workstation that's appropriate. I'm using Windows XP on a Dell Optiplex PC with a serial port. Um, you're your options and you know all that might vary but um, in this video we're going to cover um, I'll do a screen recording and I'll narrate and I'll show you specifically how to set up each part of the code plug and how to enter talk groups and I imagine once most of you see this the light bulb will go off in your head and you'll go hmm, okay that makes sense and you'll be able to go in and, and edit your code plug accordingly with whatever meets your needs so um, We'll go ahead and uh, cut to the chase here. I try to keep the introduction short because I know when I'm trying to figure something out, I just want to get straight to fixing the problem rather than listening to somebody give me a you know a vocabulary lesson for 20 minutes. So I'm going to keep this cut this introduction to a short here, and uh, we'll pop over to the screen recording, and I will narrate over that and show you how to set up your code plug accordingly. All right, folks, so in your Motorola CPS software, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the display and menu options and then go to the menu items tab. In there, you'll see the list of available items that will show up on the radio screen. You're going to want to add TGRP, which stands for talk group. You'll see me add that there on the screen, and I actually added it and made it a duplicate, so I removed that. And then you can move it up so that way it shows on the screen. And also, you want to make sure the ID display box is checked and the scan ID display box is checked and you can leave the rest of these settings alone but you may want to increase the end of voice timer and that's how long it shows the ID on the screen after someone finishes talking. Once you've done that, close that out and create yourself a new conventional personality. I'm using conventional personality 9 here that may differ on your screen. Make sure what you see here matches what's on yours and because it's ham radio, you may want to increase the timeout timer a little bit longer because people tend to be more long-winded. Make sure TX and RX are set for Astro. And then go over to the Astro tab. Make sure that's set for System 1 and all of those other settings match as well. Then go to the Astro Call tab. In fact, we don't need to do anything there. And then pop over to Talk Group. Now, if it says Strapped, that means you can only do one Talk Group at a time. We want Selectable. So make sure those options match there. And then we'll just leave those as 1 and 1. Close and then come over to Astro Configuration and actually you know what we don't need to do anything in there and then come over to Astro System 1 this is where you're going to enter your DMR ID so this is critically important that you get that correct in there and then once you've done that you can click close and then come over to uh, Astro Talk Group List oops sir, sorry that's supposed to be Astro, Astro Talk Group List then click on Talk Group Table and here's where you'll enter your talk groups. To add new ones, right click and add. Enter the talk group ID in the first box and then whatever you want to show on your radio display in the second box. That's it for talk groups. Very simple. You can do up to 16 per conventional personality. If you need more, just add another conventional personality in another table. Now here in channels under zone assignment, I have my MMDVM channel in its own dedicated zone. So you can see me here, I'm adding um, channel 2 and I'm gonna, just going to make this uh, example. And then I'm, you'll see I associate the conventional personality with number 9 and that matches the one with all the settings in conventional personality. And then I'm going to set the receive and transmit frequency for whatever's set in my Pi star. You'll want that to be simplex, meaning that the transmit and receive frequency are the same. 
Um, some other things that are important, you also want to set that down to 2.5 kilohertz, which puts you to 12.5 kilohertz of bandwidth. And then also make sure your transmit network ID and your receive network ID match whatever's in your Pi star. If they're 000, make it 000. In my case, it's the default of 293. Once you've done all these things, that's really all that's required to get set up. Okay, so I know that was a little bit quick, but um, now that you've got that started, I wanted to actually show you guys what this actually looks like. So if you don't have a P25 radio yet, you can see what it actually sounds like. I'm hoping my microphone isn't gonna pick up a bunch of RF noise, but um, I'm gonna uh, do a quick test here. I'm gonna put out my call sign and see if anybody's on the uh, North America Talk uh, Group One channel, and we'll see if I can get a quick radio check. So we'll do that real quick here. KC3 QVI, can I get a radio check please? Whiskey Zero, Tango Romeo Juliet, thanks for coming back to me. I appreciate it. Uh, sounds good on your end, too, on P25. I appreciate it. This is a KC3 QVI. I'll be clear. So there you go. That's what it sounds like. Hopefully you'll be able to have some fun with this as well. All right, folks, that's pretty much a wrap. Um, I know I covered that a little bit quickly. Um, it's a little bit difficult for me with the software that I have to record the screen on the computer and then come back and do the narration afterwards. So I kind of had to quickly record the narration in another program and then overlay it onto the video I recorded. So that's why things seem a little bit rushed. So I'm sorry if that's difficult to, to, to follow. But it's all there on the screen. I recorded it at the highest resolution possible. So all of the text should be, should be nice and clear and easy to read. So you can just pause the video and make sure whatever's on the screen matches what you have. But that's the exact code plug that I have here in this XTS 5000. Um, if you have any trouble or if maybe you um, have something that you th think should have been covered in the video and wasn't, certainly let me know in the comments. If I get some good comments, I'll certainly give those a thumbs up. And um, if you have any more questions about um, the Pi Star or, um, or using the P25 radios, um, by all means, I welcome them. And uh, I appreciate it and look forward to talking with you guys on the talk groups. Have fun and take care. See ya.